If you're anything like me and you're new at quilting, you probably was wondering, where do I get started? One of the things that I found was baby quilts. There were two little special human beings coming into the world. One was a boy, one was a girl. And what I did is I used some of the six inch blocks from the Lori Holt um, Farm Girl Vintage 2. And I actually purchased that one because I was interested in doing several of the blocks. And then this came from the library. And it's the bee in my bonnet. So they've got some really cute things. So first of all, the boot is so easy. That's an easy square. And the way she's got the book laid out, it makes it so simple to learn. Well, I had already went down to our little local sewing uh, shop and she had little beginner classes. Very easy, you just put a block together every Friday evening. And it was a lot of fun. So since I'd already had some made, I thought why not incorporate those into a quilt? Here was the other thing, I had scraps, and I really wanted to do a Hello Kitty for the little girl. And the only issue I ran into is trying to find fabric. I could find just a little bits of fabric. In fact, Kim, the lady down at our quilt shop, had made a uh, pillow for her granddaughter. I think it was her granddaughter, and she had just a few little scraps uh, left over, but she said the same thing I did. It was just hard to find that material. So I thought, well, what if I could make a block that just has some of the scraps in it? And that's what I did. So I've got some of the pictures where uh, I have been in the process of making the quilt. And then when they're finished, and they turned out pretty uh, easy. So if you go with a couple of your six inch blocks, and these books are fantastic for anybody, but especially new people, because it's so easily explained. Notice this one, which I've not done. It's got like a little strawberry one. It's so adorable. So like that would be pretty cute for a girl's quilt. But anyways, I just thought I would start with that and show you what I ended up with. 